All right, I'm testing my high-tech Steadicam, which is really a, a goofy little universal joint on a trekking pole. But it lets me have sort of a cool Steadicam feature, like a high-tech film production. Um, I'm on, I don't know, my first 20 minutes after leaving the St. Jean Pied de Port. It is so freaking tranquil and beautiful out here. It's like walking through meadows of sheep and uh, I don't know. I've seen a few pilgrims. I met a couple uh, from Portugal that were eating at the place I ate last night. But uh, man, I'm. I get it. There's something pretty amazing to even walk in this. I know my pack is way too heavy. I can. I get a feeling by everybody passing me, nobody has nearly what I'm carrying. And I'm thinking I'm just like an idiot doing the typical American let me carry way too much stuff that I don't have any need for. The family I met that I drove over from Pamplano told me, okay, if you don't use anything by Pamplano, ship it forward, don't use it. So my plan is to really sort of itemize what I'm gonna use, what I'm not gonna use, and hopefully ditch what I don't use. So I'm gonna just pan, so you can see some of this beautiful stuff. This is the kind of stuff walking along. I hear water. I'm curious to come see what it is. Oh, there's a stream. Okay, that's the stream that actually goes through St. John. Still pretty, um, I don't know, overflowing from all the water. So, but I'm digging this. It's sort of cool. I'm sure after I have a day's worth of blisters and some pain and some grumbling to do. Maybe my outlook won't be so positive. But right now, I feel like these are exciting times. So I'm sort of digging this. I will sign on and try to do a little diary entry later. Okay, I've been going for quite a few hours in and out of the rain. And at some point, I guess I crossed into Spain. They're talking Spanish now. Right from Merci, it went to Gracias. So I guess it's safe to say I can ditch my French attempts and move on to my Spanish. <clears throat> so I'm walking through the little town. I've learned two things so far on this hike. Uh, one is that my guidebook literally sucks. It sucks. I'll show it to you later. I don't want to dig it out of my pack. But from time to time, as you're going on the Camino, you'll have options. Wait, right, I gotta show you this view. This is pretty freaking cool. Look at this. That's the valley I just came up. And here's why my guidebook sucks. That side of the valley has a trail too. This side has a trail. My guidebook, which you know, it's supposed to help you make decisions like that. Said trail A, trail B. One is the quiet path, the beautiful, supposed to protect you from the traffic. And one is the uh, one that's on the highway. Well, I listened to my guidebook to go to the quiet path and it took me to the highway path. So I'm contemplating whether or not to do some sort of sacrificial burning of that book, but I want to show the cover of it. I think the only thing good about that stupid book is the cover. So, I am a little drenched, a little wet, a little tired, uh, a little exhausted. I'm sort of surprised I'm even able to go. I'm sweating a lot, I think because of no food in my system and literally having food poisoning for this long has just sort of tapped me out. So, I'm keeping an eye out for the markers and I will try to do another one of these when the rain, if there is rain, I'll break in it later. Oh, no, I can say adios, hasta luego.